Good morning. Welcome to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay, the preacher man. Well, I got a good message for you today. It's going to bless you and make you laugh. I just love coming into your homes on Facebook and YouTube and the internet and blessing you and making you a blessing. You know, I got like 300 sermons you can watch. All you got to do is go to my you, uh, my YouTube channel, Faith in Jesus Ministries, and watch it. And they'll bless you. I guarantee you I got every subject in the in the world in there. So uh, you better tell somebody, Brother Mike's preaching. Again, it's Brother Mike's world and you only live in it. I stay in these hotels all the time when I'm preaching uh, all over the country. And uh, these comedians and preachers, uh, they stay there in the same hotel with me. And, you know, they... They get up at like 6 o'clock in the morning and knock on my door and say, Hey, we're going for a 10-mile hike, 10-mile run. You want to come? I'm like, hell no. But you go buy a Krispy Kreme, I can use a dozen donuts. And bring me something back. And this thing got me, this obesity thing. This obesity is now a defini definition as defined as a disease. Nose fat and they ain't sick. Pants and went on home. All of them are fat. Really that much overweight. I just retain a lot of water. Like Lake Erie. My aunt is so big that if you meet her in the hallway, it's just as easy to jump over her than go around her. Yes, I need to get in for another checkup. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Thinking because most things your size has an engine. So you pretend... To agree that obesity is a disease, but it ain't. Where in the hell you think I caught this? Close to a fat person, they sneezed, and hell, I got it. Words I can't even spell: anorexic, bulimic. You know, uh, bulimic's when you gorge and gorge and gorge, and then you purge. Makes me half bulimic. People like myself are short-winded. You know, big people just short-winded. Before Colonel Sandler's came along, the only thing that ate its food out of a bucket was a hog. So at this point, during the preaching, uh, what goes through my mind, Brother Mike, why don't you just go get a job? Against the law to run a red light, but it is not against the law to stop on green. He's going to pull you over and say, hey, you stopped on green. You go, yeah, I know it. Dead. You ever hear anybody say this? I'm out of work. I don't have any money, but I still like to go and see other people have a good time. That's what you do when you're bored. Go to the McDonald's, order $100 of stuff, and then pretend your car won't start. That line will back up a half a mile behind you. It's got to be back to work in 30 minutes, except you. Whenever you fill out a, a job application, have fun with it. You know... Whenever it says what sex you are, put it most often as you can. I always want to know about your hobbies. Put down, you like golf and bowling and picking up beer cans. One of my hobbies is smoking dope and doing ill shit. One of my hobbies is just drinking all day. Killing dogs. His nearest relative put 12 miles. Back to that place that you fill out an application every day and just stare at them. Tell them you want to change some things on the application. You don't kill cat. You don't kill dogs anymore. You kill cats. Whether you live to be forty, you live to be eighty. Life is short, very short. Get upset in traffic, sitting there for hours on on end. You know, whenever you get upset in traffic, wave at the guy next to you and point at his wheel. He'll stop. Pull over and you go right on through. I always laugh when these people win the lotto and they talk about, oh, I'm going to keep my job. Can't lose my job. Got $15 million in the bank. I'm going to go to work for $30, $35 a day. I'm going to buy an island, a yacht, and travel. Man, I'm going to travel the world in my yacht. I need more than now than ever a real encounter with Jesus Christ about me you don't know me is that I believe the Bible is an inherent word of God I believe in every single word in the Bible born to a virgin in Bethlehem 
I believe that he is uh, the son of God. Uh, he loved me enough not to stay dead, but he died for three days and came back on the Sunday. With all power in heaven and earth. Thessalonians is right. He will crack the sky at the trumpet sound. Christ will be raised first and those that are alive will be called up to meet him in the clouds. Shall we ever be with the Lord? One another with these words. Christ is still King of Kings and Lord of Lord. Worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our praise. There's one greater than a cowboy in this place. Be a glory to God this morning. I'm grateful to be a believer this morning. Church, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be blessed with uh, prominence and authority, and you'll do so in Jesus' name. Nations are destroyed. What can the righteous do? The team is a test, a test of endurance, a test of patience, and worship and endurance. God, on our best day, he's the same person on our worst day. Psalms 11.6 says, Upon the wicked he will rain coals of fire and brimstone and burning wind. He loves righteousness and his face behold. Right. Psalms 11.2 says, The wicked bend their bows and string their arrows. We offer three, Matthew 3.16 for some comfort. As Jesus was being baptized by John, out of the water and a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son, who I'm very proud of, whom I'm well pleased. And down there, angels singing, Ha! Ah, loves you with no strings attached. He did to earn his favor or his blessing. You do to earn his favor or his love. There's nothing you can do to make him stop loving you. Believe in our heart and confess it with our mouth, and we will be saved. Relationship with the Father because of what Jesus did. Attack from the devil in your life, it's because heaven just announced your presence. The favor of God based on the attack on your life is going to attack God, and I'm going to fight the attack with the word of God, the joy of the Lord. Enemy steal your joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He formed his weapon, but we know what the Bible said. No weapon formed against me will prosper. He hit me with the arrow of depression, an arrow of guilt, an arrow of shame arrow of addictions and no when he hit me i wouldn't go down blood of the lamb sacrifice saved my life he hit me he thought he hit me with a death blow no colossians 3 and 3 belongs to me he died your life was hidden in christ and god me dead men can't bleed so whose blood was it he fell followed the blood trail and thought he was going to find me but didn't find me he found a man that was 33 years old lamb of god and be saying, this one belongs to me. And stay on his knees saying, I was just playing, excuse me. The King and Lord of Lords, I don't even know why I'm messing with you. Why I mess with faith in Jesus Ministries. I don't even know why I mess with Brother Mike. He's blessed. Thought he was coming after you and messed around and met Jesus. 19, verse 61. Words of the wicked have found me. But I have not forgotten Jesus. I rise to give thanks to you. Righteous justice. 17, you're going to have an opportunity to give God a midnight praise. If you want to really give the devil a black eye, you got to give God a midnight praise. Is when you lost it all, nothing makes sense. Say, God, I trust you. God, I believe you. I've seen you too much. I know too much. To God's unchanging hand. Somebody to see what you're going through and say, this is an opportunity for your midnight miracle. God doesn't do things in the dark. He does his best creation in the dark. There'll be light. There's your devil has got no match against my God's power. Creative work at midnight. And I, I dare you to praise in the middle of midnight. You know, when you praise God, that means heaven owes you. Before the answer comes, thank you that you healed my body. God, I thank you that I'm already free. God, I thank you that I'm free in my finances. Thank you that you took care of the situation before I even asked. To do with that praise declared. Debt in your worship. Anybody that would give God a midnight prayer. What the enemy has sent. Count it all joy. Holy Ghost in here. And James count it all joy. And people that are rich and empty on the inside. People that would trade peace for stuff. Preachers to oppress you. You are you. Empty face the truth. 24 and 5. He prepare a table in the presence of my enemy. My, my head with oil. My cup runs over. The mic's in overflow mode. In this TV right now, there's a freedom on your computer right now. Where the Lord is, there's liberty. Be 
being finished with fear. When the men worship, Jesus cast out 2,000 demons. The presence of Jesus and you get refueled, folks are going to be afraid. You're going to be free. Afraid if you ever get free, the demons going to fall to the ground. When you stay rooted in fear and shame, it does it removes anything you don't need in your life. The enemy just wants you to get weary. So the Lord is not going to leave you. He already promised he would not forsake you. White thing is not a black thing. It's not a red thing. It's not a yellow thing. It's a Jesus thing. Oh Jesus, all my friends on Facebook and YouTube and the internet and television need a healing. They need a blessing in the name of Jesus. They need money, Jesus. They need money. Revival. Turn on empty for too long. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. No man comes from the Father but through him. So I invite you to leave your sins up on that cross. Jesus died for you because he loves you. He loves you. He's so into you. Jesus just loves you. He wants the best for you. The apple of his eye. You have royal DNA going through your blood. You have royal blood going through your veins. In Jesus' name. If you'd like to know Jesus is your Lord and Savior, I want you to wave your hands like this. Wave your hands like you're 500 miles out in the ocean and you're in 30 foot waves and you're going down for the third time and you need a savior and I'm on a helicopter and I need you to wave your hands. Wave your hands and tell me you need a savior and Jesus will reach down and grab you and pull you up out of that water just like you pulled Peter and walk into the boat in Jesus name and save your life. You can save yourself by saying the simple prayer, Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us right now, we'd like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take you places you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show you his kindness, his love, his mercy, his happiness, and his joy. May you crown your head with a crown of favor. May you open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon your life. You have no room to receive in Jesus' name. We thank you at Faith in Jesus Ministries for your faithful financial support. Help me preach the gospel to the ends of the world. God doesn't want any man left behind. Just like the Vietnam War, we didn't leave any man behind. That's our motto at Faith in Jesus Ministries. No man left behind. So we appreciate your financial support, where your support is greatly appreciated. For your $1 partnership with Faith in Jesus Ministries, we'll send you the DVD of the month. It's my most fabulous, famous uh, sermon on uh, YouTube, sent to your home on a DVD. Or you can get all 295 of my sermons in Jesus Ministries for a $90 donation. It'll come to you in a 10 DVD collection to your home. Figured out YouTube, it cost about a dollar per viewer to get people saved. So if you send me ten dollars, you have ten mansions in heaven. And I'll get ten people saved. If you send me twenty dollars, you'll have twenty mansions in heaven, and I'll get twenty people saved. If you send me a thousand dollars, I'll get all your family and friends into heaven in Jesus' name. Get free at Faith in Jesus Ministry. So if you send me twenty dollars, the whole twenty dollars go to the world of evangelism. If you send me a thousand dollars, that whole thousand dollars goes to the world of evangelism. If you send me $2 million, a whole $2 million will go to the world of evangelism. To bless the gift and bless the giver. 30, 60, 100 fold, and 1,000 times return for blessing faith in Jesus ministries with seed money. We'd like to pray for you right now to get the Holy Spirit. Be sure to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. It's free in Jesus' name. May the Lord keep you safe until we meet again in Jesus' name. May he bless you with the desires of your heart in Jesus' name.